<laughs> oh. Hey guys, today's episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. It's a security system that experts trust. There's no long-term contract and you can start and stop at any time with no hidden fees. It's less than $1 per day, which is half the cost of other traditional home security brands. They ship the system directly to your door and setup is easy and simple. And big news, Simply Safe is officially launching their brand new LiveGuard protection, which will help stop break-ins in real time. The 24-7 LiveGuard protection is the feature of their Fast Protect monitoring plan. It's powered by the brand new Smart Alarm Wireless Indoor Security Camera. Let me show you. The new sleek, lightweight camera integrates seamlessly into your Simply safe system. The smart alarm indoor camera is the only indoor camera that can truly alarm to scare off intruders with a built-in siren. The 24-7 live guard protection is exclusive to Simply Safe and gives a professional monitoring agents the ability to see and speak to intruders live in your home or business. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for the Fast Protect plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash demo ranch to customize yours. And remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Do you need to kill a chicken? Do you need to kill a boar? Well, I've got the right thing for you. Straight from China. For all your chicken and pig killing needs. That was an actual commercial the makers of this gun made just shooting a, a freaking rooster with it. <laughs> so we thought, can this thing really shoot a pig? Can it really take down a freaking hog? I don't know. It's literally a slingshot that's sort of made into a gun. It's like, it's like gun, a slingshot, had a baby, and you get this. It came in a million pieces. Here's me building it. It's pretty junky. Uh, this was all brand new and we've shot it like less than 10 times just testing it out and it's already getting torn up. It's sketchy. So you can put as many bands on it as you want, I guess. Um, there's room for two more on this one. So you could have six total, why is that already loose? So you could have six total bands. Right now we only have two. We're gonna shoot it with just two first, see how it does. But basically it has this little carrier right in here that, that cable is hooked to, that runs down this aluminum tube here, and you push this all the way forward, you lock onto that, you pull it all the way back and lock it, and then you pull this trigger to release it. And the rubber bands pull that cable, which is pulling that little tube down all the way here, firing it straight out of the end of your slingshot. It has a magnetized little tube, so you can put a little ball of shot down in there, and it just hooks right in there. You can put two balls of shot. Okay, we're gonna shoot it on low power first and see how this thing works. So first, go in here, latch it in. This also has the potential to be one of the most boring videos we've ever made. So you're welcome. And then you pull it back and it's ready to fire. We built a little foregrip on here because there was literally nothing to do with your left hand besides this before because you can't put it up there, because there's gonna be a lot of stuff flying up there, so kind of sketch. All right, can I hit this big yellow target over here? Yeah. Would that have killed the pig? Mm, I don't know. What did you say? You want me to double the power? Okay, no problem. So all we do, put a couple extra little rubber bands in here on both sides, and we will have twice as much power, killed twice as many roosters. It's gonna be sick. Aww. All right, we're shooting it uh, with just uh, three instead of two this time. Way more powerful. Cool, breaking already. Going for four this time. Oh, this is, I hate this thing. Also, we paid $340 for this, and we probably should have paid a lot less. This thing kind of sucks. Okay, um, man, it's getting more and more torn up. So you can see these buffers up here. That's where it's supposed to stop. But the cable keeps going in there, and it's just ripping it up. 
and the cable's also tearing itself up because it's going up and down these grooves and it's getting little sharp fibers sticking out. This thing's a ticking time bomb. All right, we got six bungees on each side. I just got that feeling that I'm about to get smacked in the face or crotch. Oh my gosh. I hate it. I hate it so much. It looks awesome though. I mean, look how cool that looks. Let's see what we can do with all this power. I heard that one bounce. All right. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Actually, we're going to shoot this thing at some things to see how powerful it is. Let's try some ballistics gel first. See what we got. Dang, boy. That turkey is thick. That's a thick turkey. This is uh, Thurkey the Thick Turkey. Try to say Thurkey the Thick Turkey <laughs> three times fast. Thurkey the Thick Turkey, Thurkey three. All right, anyway, uh, this is from Clear Ballistics. Appreciate them sending Thurkey to us. And we're gonna shoot Thurkey the Thick Turkey with a fling flop. <laughs> I'm gonna put three BBs in there. I'm gonna see what they do to Thurkey the Thick Turkey. One of these times it's just gonna get me. Oh. Also, thanks to Vortex for supplying the site, though I'm not even using it because this thing does not follow normal sights. I'm just looking under here. It's way better. All right, I'm gonna get closer. Okay, Thurkey. Good luck to you. Ow. I got hit with BBs. I don't even think they went in the turkey. I think they just bounced back and hit me in the legs. I think that's a dent there. Dude, what the heck? Yeah, I think there's a dent there. A dent there. Let's get some GoPros in slow-mo on this so we can actually see, but I'm... Yeah, nothing went in turkey. Turkey is an inventable turkey. <laughs> okay, round two, let's see what happens. Heard stuff behind me. I have reviewed the footage. You can see the BBs bouncing straight back, which means not only would they not kill a pig, they would not even enter into a pig. A BB gun would be stronger than this thing. Such a freaking bummer. How do we save this video? Man, China's the worst. Communism, only gonna have one kid, bad slingshots. China's the worst. I got an idea. What if we fill it up with washers? We'll just fling all those through the air, hmm? Fire and hole. Okay, so now we flip it over and charge it, but let's see how good the magnet works. China even has bad magnets. But one redeeming quality, Panda Express. Good job, guys. Y'all nailed it. I uh, got a little cup and I just poured them all in there. So they're all in there. When I tilt it, they're gonna try to fall. Uh, there's a good chance I'm gonna take out a GoPro right here, but let's see what happens. So there's a couple little rings. There's one there, one there. They definitely, you can see where they're hitting. Little rings everywhere, but they did nothing. I mean, not even a scratch. This gun is total fake gimmick. So how do they actually kill that pig and that chicken? Just got back from your mom's house. After our workout, she let me take her resistance bands home. I tied them all on here. Okay, uh, we have not actually cocked this thing yet. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? Why are you so far back? <laughs> Come on, just lock in. Mikey. Oh, got it. Run. Holy cow, this is bad news, dude. Woo, those are taut. I think we've effectively doubled the capacity this thing is supposed to have. So we put a little bullet fishing weight. Uh, it's steel, so it hooks to the magnet. Let's kill that turkey. Dude, the gun is like cockeyed now. It's like really cranked to the side. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, dude, we went in that turkey, right? Dude, look how good it is. It even went in the right direction and everything. It went in a hole one inch, which is pretty good. 
all you have to do to make this thing dangerous, I wouldn't even say lethal, is just put a bunch of rubber bands on it, like way more than it should have, and make it extra sketchy. And then you can barely wound a wild animal. It'll be awesome. Now we have a bunch of tiny nails. Let's see what that does. Cool. So they didn't really go very deep. They're all very superficial. I mean, some of these, this one went in backwards fairly deep. Thank you guys for sticking around on my literal worst video ever. You're the real ones, the real bored ones. <laughs> what are you doing? Step in the turkey. I'm saving this video. Uh, we put more of your mom's bands on there and we just got her cocked. The problem is that one didn't catch the latch. The only thing holding that wire back is that, but there's supposed to be one on each side. The latch didn't catch on that side, so it's it's real precarious. So when something's sketchy, what do we do? Double down. Pepper ball. <laughs> now what I'm worried about is when I pull this trigger, the pepper ball just explodes right here next to my face. There we go. Oh, I missed. I think I closed my eyes. <laughs> pepper ball worked, did exactly what we thought. Ooh, this thing's getting torn up. All right, our last idea, we tie the slingshot down in this thing. We'll get our stuffed turkey with a live 50 cal round right there. Boom. <laughs> Cooked turkey. This is Demolition Ranch in its prime right here. All right, I'm just gonna try to not get hit. Oh my gosh. Good. Enough slices. Okay, there's a bunch in there. So some are gonna fall out. The magnet's not gonna work on all those. These are metal, I mean, these are steel. We're gonna tie a string to the trigger, turn the turkey so that it's bullet hole is facing straight at the slingshot, get behind our bulletproof wall, and try to blow it up. We have the turkey set up, we have string on the trigger. We're gonna go back, pull the trigger. If this slingshot does not set off the 50 cal in the turkey's backside, I am going to take the five ton and destroy this slingshot. If the slingshot does explode the 50 cal in the turkey's backside, I am going to take the five ton and destroy this slingshot. Quick pull. You know it needs to be done now. There was dents around it. There is a, ch there's a couple dents there. So I think this thing might have got hit, but not hard enough to set it off. $340 gun from China, don't buy it. It sucks. I have one more idea before we do the five ton thing. Iron hole. That concludes my product review of this slingshot. Thank you for watching. Please like and smash that subscribe button. No.
all good? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. Hey, um, I totally forgot to say that I love you guys, but I'm sorry. I'm just, I was frustrated. The video just didn't turn out like I wanted, and I got mad, and I shouldn't. I shouldn't let my emotions get the best of me, but they did, so uh, I'm sorry. I love you.